money. What's your relationship with with money and figures? Love hate. We talk about it all all the time. Our next guest believes everyone can benefit from uh, taking on a budget, working to a budget, no matter how much money you may or may not have. Yes, so Lisa Woodley is a TikTok sensation who says you need to take control of your spending rather than it being in control of you. Lisa, very good to see you um, today. Sometimes this is a medicine, this is a pill a lot of people don't want to, to swallow. Yeah. I would be resistant to a budget. I'm, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not very disciplined like that, you know. What is your but what is your relationship with money like? Well, my relationship now with money is absolutely fantastic. Before it wasn't. I lived month to month within the income. So now I've um, put a budget in place. My money stretches a lot further, which is fantastic. So talk us through how you've done this, because you've got quite a following to the point where you've become termed a influencer, which is a financial influencer on social media. And you stuff cash. I do. Tell us about this cash stuffing. So cash stuffing is a method to help you budget and make your money go further. So I use a binder and I separate my income into different categories to help, um, yeah, make my money stretch further. I can save for future expenses um, and, yeah. So what, is this like some people do this for Christmas? So they might say, I've got a little Christmas envelope, I'm going to put a tenner in every month when it comes to Christmas, that sorts Christmas presents for my nieces and nephews or something. And you see, the thing about it is you actually see what you've got. That's exactly it. What started off for me, just trying to save for Christmas, evolved, and now I put money away for every single eventuality that occurs a financial cost. The problem with that is... You don't get any interest on, on having it in a you don't get any wallet. Interest. You don't get any interest anyway. Well, you might not in your <laughs> bank, but you, if you go and put it no, in an look, ISA or in premium bonds, yeah. you've got... But, but, better... you, but what I think is, since the breakdown, you can't actually feel cash. You, can, you don't actually know. You can tell if your pocket yeah. or your purse is full or not full. I went to give my kids, I was with them at the weekend, and I went to give them some cash, some Aww. money. They both refused it. Really? They both refused it. They said, can you not just transfer it into my bank? And they don't. And then they said, Ooh. "Dad, nobody uses cash." Oh, I use cash. And, and and they say the amount of places that don't accept cash is is growing all the time. Yeah, that is true. Um, but I see the value of money differently to online. Now, I'm not opposed to using my card online, etc. But I find that um, I'm less likely to spend yes. my money if I have actual real money. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How often do you check your bank account, Eamon? I mean, I know some people that check it multiple times a day. My mum, for example. No, but but I, do, I do carry cash. <laughs> or might be mugged. Yeah. But I do carry cash because I do like, like Lisa says, I like the feel of it. I like knowing. I always remember my father at the end of the week and he got his, he got his pay packet or whatever. And we had a, a fruit bowl in the house and he used to take it and throw it into the fruit bowl and he'd say to my mum, girl, take what you, what you need or what you want there. She would then take the money for running the house or doing whatever and what was left was for him. Yep. Uh, basically that. To go to the pub. To go to the pub or whatever he wanted to do. But the point was that worked because yeah. you knew what you had. Exactly that. And um, I've definitely found myself and loads of other people that utilise this method that their money's going a lot further.